All right, Forex market situation update. We got the second analysis for the day. It's the silver with an important update that I have for you guys on this one. It's been exactly 12 days. Uh, 12 days ago, it was that was the last time we've been here, and I was I was bearish. I was bearish on the silver, and I was um, and I was presenting the bearish case for the silver. If you remember, we talked about the fact that price just came off, um, uh, you know, a, a, a definite high. It just took the previous one by a very tiny margin. Check this out. Right, a very very tiny margin, but it did take the previous high, and with a swift move, it crossed back below 27.90, and we felt that this could spell a big downside move all the way to where price came from. And that's what I was portraying in that previous analysis on the silver 12 days ago. Like I said at the beginning of this video, an important update we have uh we have for you guys and that's all about tossing out that bearish conviction tossing it out the window all right we're flipping over and i'm going to show you why we're flipping over we're now not only holding a bullish conviction but we've decided to back it up with a bullish position so and, and I gotta I, I gotta say this, um we're kind of testing the water, so we're we're establishing a small size position on the silver until we can verify that it's basically um crossing over 2790. That's the big obstacle right now. Um literally ha hovering above price action. But let me get to the point. Why did we decide to toss out the window or bearish conviction and flip it over. So first, it was a fundamental decision. From a fundamental point of view, we feel that the silver is up for a big upside move. There's a lot of demand for physical silver in the last, probably I would say five, six, seven months. And it's, it's getting bigger, that that demand is growing um every month is getting it's getting bigger and bigger for and i'm talking about physical silver so people feel that the economy you know is under some serious threat and they look for safe havens and usually they found they find those have ha safe havens um in, in the gold and in the silver so that's that's just one reason but it has to have you know it has to be a second reason which has to be technical right so here it, here it comes. You remember the way we talked about price was dropping so fast. Basically crossing below 2790, but not only that, but just also also closing a gap. And I was talking about that gap. We felt that this uh when we saw that gap, we felt that this could be a breakaway gap, right? The kind of gap that doesn't come back doesn't look back it just keeps going and going and it, it jumps over a significant key level which it did 2790 so we thought it might be a qualified breakaway gap but it quickly got closed right so when it got closed we started to speculate this might end up being just a common gap with um when when where common gaps close themselves close themselves very quickly but they continue to trade they continue to move to the same direction the same direction that the gap was 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 over so you know that was our that was kind of our estimation that this might end up being just a common gap and price will come back up but now i want to show you something quite interesting because we haven't determined yet whether what kind of a gap it, it starts to look like it was a common gap because we see price coming back up, right? But it's too soon to determine with full confidence that that's the case. But I want to show you one more thing, another angle to this, uh, to the silver here. But just keep in mind this level here, 2790 again, I'm going to switch to the monthly chart. I want to show you something quite interesting. Take a look at this. This is really why, this is the reason behind our decision to flip over and to pull the trigger. Take a look. The same gap I was talking about, right? This is the jump 
right over 2790 this is the opening have no mistake this is the opening right price went up at the beginning took the previous high and then started to cross over 2790 as we've seen on the daily chart but guys check this out just before we're getting closer to the end of the month right we still have some time to the end of the month and we see this spike starting to form so that to me speaks volume it means that price is pulling back up it was down to, to it was here it was on the downside to handle some business basically it was after that gap it was trying to close that gap but now we see that that big spike starting to form suggesting that price will remain by the end of the month above 2790 meaning it's really not breaking down 2790 it's just spiking it it was just some inner um access noise with uh, the intention to close out that gap but it was really not about breaking below 2790 that's how i feel about it right now we have two weeks to go to the end of the month enough time for price to not only jump back above 2790 but to change its whole momentum and actually and end up positively right so guys that's pretty much the story about the silver uh like i said big update we're basically flipping over now we're bullish on the silver let's see how far we can take this one on we'll definitely be back next week to follow up on the situation that's about that for the day today forex market we'll be back tomorrow Take care.